Hello, my name is Martin Kaplan. I'm a professor of gastroenterology at the Royal Free Hospital in uh, London. I have an interest in the role of diet um, in disease and also looking at supplements and their effect in disease. I'm presenting to you today a paper entitled The Potential Role of Xanthihumor in SARS-CoV-2 Treatment Globally Accessible and Economically Viable. This paper is being prepared with my colleague Lua Hai Chen. Infection with severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 or COVID-19 infection has resulted, as you know, in significant global mortality and morbidity. And there are a lack of effective treatments. Dexamethasone has an impact in reducing the severity of infection. Remdesivir for severe infection has some impact, uh, but it's limited and is expensive. Hydroxychloroquine is controversial with no clear benefit. We don't yet know if vaccines are going to be effective. So there's a need for treatment which could be available for all in the global community, as well as being available in hospital, and needs to fulfill the criteria of being efficacious, affordable, and safe. Xanthihumol, which is derived from the hop extract, hop extracts, as you know, used to make beer. So Xanthihumol is potentially available over the counter. Interestingly, this extract has been shown both in vitro and in vivo to have antiviral properties against RNA and DNA viruses, but also importantly, has anti-inflammatory properties against severe respiratory syndrome. We review in this paper the evidence for xanthihumol to be considered as a treatment for SARS-CoV-2 infection. We need economically and globally to be thinking beyond the traditional, and so studies are warranted to assess efficacy of xanthihumol against SARS-CoV-2. We have collaborators with ongoing in vitro experiments. And if there's evidence of efficacy, then we can look to take this to clinical trial. Xanthihumol is potentially easily available and scalable in all countries. We need to be thinking outside of the box in order to address the potential for treatments against SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus infection. And that way we could hopefully help prevent the spread of disease and also abrogate the disease itself. Thank you.